most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heine, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of We're course. We're playing Bob. past the orange. <clears throat> Today, again, we are lucky and honored to have with us Vince, the organic farmer, who is going to speak to us today about how you can lose weight or feel better by eating the right foods. Exactly. And if you're new to our channel, I yeah, it, please ahead, take Bob. a minute just to uh, hit the subscribe button. It's to the right of Vince. Uh, we provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, and pain-free. Yeah. And we upload every day. Yeah, this is a, a new subject. We have not addressed nutrition yet, but it's definitely a part of physical therapy. It definitely plays a role in how you heal, improve, and just how you feel. Yeah. Heal and feel. I, mean, I like joke. that. I like that. Okay, Vince. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, you got the floor. <laughs> thank you very much. No, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys. I rarely have an opportunity to be with celebrities like uh, Oh, good uh, Lord. <laughs> Vince. And, uh, Vince. <laughs> he, he won something from yeah, us. Right. <laughs> and uh, no, I'm, 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 a, I'm a lifelong farmer and uh, an organic farmer. I have a farm called St. Bridget's Meadows where we sell food directly to consumers. And, you can uh, find that online. I'll, I'll put a link to it on, on all, all right, these videos. Okay. So. At, uh, I mean, we, 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 we sell almost all of what we want to sell very locally. You know, we ship stuff a little bit, but by and large, uh, we're very content just to, to serve the people in our community sure. and our neighborhood. But uh, it's, if, you know, having been a lifelong farmer, I've made some very, uh, um, uh, some observations on what is health and what is not healthy. Uh, everything needs to be fed properly. Everything has a, a condition that had, has evolved in, which is ideal for it. And that includes human beings. And there's a lot of complications these days with cramming of zillions of people in cities and you know things don't all work out exactly right. But uh, your body has evolved eating certain things over these last uh, uh, many hundreds of thousands of years. And uh, only in the last 50 years, 60 years, have we really radically changed how we eat. It doesn't, you know, the, one of the simplest things to say of how should I eat properly, eat the way your grandmother ate. What sure. did she eat? Sure. She ate potatoes. You know, you, you take a potato like this and, uh, and, and bake it and open it up and put some cow's butter on that potato and eat the whole potato and eat it, including the, the skin, skin, and you have just done yourself a world of good. I mean, the amount of, of uh, vitamins and minerals, this is what you call nutrient-dense food, along with the apple, the, the egg. And it's, it's not an accident. It, we, have, we have been, this is what's been keeping the human race alive for hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of years. Not exactly, the, you know, the potato in the Western Hemisphere, but not in, the, in Europe. You know, the potato showed up in Europe. Uh, in uh, about the 16th century, because they found they, you know, they, they found it here in the Western Hemisphere, it went to Europe, and it increased the European population by almost double. Wow! The European population had maxed out because they were they were all they had to eat was they had they had beef and they had horses and they were raising wheat, but at some point. Anyway, so I'm getting off the subject a little bit. The potato is one of those things that we've evolved with. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a brilliant source of, uh, of, uh, of, of nutrients. The opposite of that is something that, that's just almost pure sugar. And the, uh, these things uh, behave in your body in an entirely different way. So these weren't way. around 50 years ago, <laughs> were they? Well, well they, uh, to some extent, it maybe. actually started, things started to change. That's um, probably when things started going. Yeah. The, that, the wheels started falling off the wagon there. Well, it's, 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 it's like eating grains. Our, our ancestors um, started eating grains uh, a couple thousand years ago. You know, the, the, at the center of Western civilization, of course, is, is Christianity. At the center of Christianity is, is, uh, is wheat, you know, the, the Eucharist, sure. the Last Supper. They ate, they were eating wheat. And uh, that wheat was when, you, when you, uh, you take a whole grain like spelt or wheat or rice or barley or oats, and you take the whole grain and you grind it up and you bake it, <clears throat> you have, uh, you know, uh, um, three or four percent of that grain is bran which is a high fiber sort of thing that goes right on through the whole system. You've got the, you've got the brand, you've got the wheat germ. The wheat germ is like the yolk, <laughs> the, the yolk of the egg. It is, uh, it is pure protein and it is, uh, it's the center of the, the, uh, the, it's the, it's what the plant is going to use to reproduce. The round part on the outside, 83% of it is called the endosperm, which is 
carbohydrates, it's sugar. So this thing was going to go in the ground, it was going to ping, it was going to germinate, the germ was going to come out, and, the, and it was going, now the, uh, the endosperm was going to feed it as it grows up. So if you're a human being, and you take this whole thing and you grind it up and you bake it, you've got a loaf of bread that is really a fine, nutrient-dense, good thing to eat. It's, uh, it's got fiber in it, it's got uh, protein in it, it's all good. It's not problem. quite like the bread we buy at the Okay, store. the problem, the problem, Bradley, uh, with with that that bread that we just I just described is that the fats in it, and the fats are there from the germ, will turn rancid in a few days, two three days. It spoils. You sure. Know? It's eat, eat it, eat it, or it's going to begin to decompose. And uh, and if, once again, you go to to like 1950 in the United States, or a little earlier even. Uh, people figured out that if you take that grain apart, the bran over there, the germ over there, and the endosperm here, and just grind up the endosperm and put it in a bag and call it white flour, it'll last forever. But you've just taken away the good parts. You've taken, you've taken. The and so that's what we're left with nowadays. Is, is, ding dongs. Yeah. Well, then but even just regular, sugar. just even regular bread, though. Exactly. Yeah. Or almost anything with, with Any, wheat in it. Uh, if it's the cereals a, and the. All of the all of the all of. You know, one of the one of the general things about shopping for food and good food and that sort of thing is, is uh, a, a generalization is you go in the grocery store and just shop all the way around the I've outside. I've heard that same thing around too. Around the outside. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the, if you guys, as, as soon as you go in the aisles, you're into trouble. And I, I think about that every time I go shopping because it's true. And, and it's, what uh, we're talking about, I don't know, people don't have stores in other countries like in the yeah. States. The outside is where the fresh fruit is, yep. the right. vegetables, the meat. The dairy products, yep. and, and right. well, but all the processed food, the stuff like this, and comes yep. in boxes, yep. is yep. in the center. Right. You know, right. lasts forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, it's really interesting too because uh, uh, you know modern food marketers you like you like to use really bright, colorful packaging, right? Right. Mm -hmm. There's a reason. It's you know, like deep in our DNA, bright, colorful things are really good. Sure. Like this orange or the apple. Yeah. No, exactly. the, the color itself is very important. It's oh. part of the, the, uh, the uh, phytonutrients of, of, mm. of plants. You know, uh, blueberries are excellent, right? Mm. Right. And, and uh, antioxidants and all these things. The, the brighter the color, <laughs> the more, the more Generally better is, phytonutrients uh, are in it. Mm. And, uh, blueberries, blackberries, and the strawberries, all those things. And uh, so it, the color is, is actually... One of the things that you're you're uh, looking for, especially in your in your fruits. So what would what would you eat for a breakfast? And and because this is a tr trouble for me, because I, I I do eat cereal, and mm -hmm. I know because I like the fiber. All right. So what kind of cereal do you eat? I'll eat like a brand cereal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And but I, I I it's it's really purely for the fiber to to a large yeah. extent and the sure. and the convenience. I mean I love eggs. I I love bacon, but I yeah, I wouldn't get my fiber from them. Yeah. So. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I had for breakfast today, which, by the way, is exactly the same thing every day. Yeah. <laughs> really, not nine, 19 out of 20. All, every day. I, I have uh, usually a banana. I do up, have a banana. I eat Cut it bananas. up in the bowl, okay. and then uh, and I, uh, I put a big, blah, a big blob of uh, yogurt in there, and then uh, a is little handful of, of granola. What's that? Is that plain Greek yogurt? Or uh, my wife makes the yogurt. Out of oh, her, she makes uh, it? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Full from, fat. So I don't have that organic. capability, but okay, and then yogurt, and then what else? And then a little handful of, uh, of granola. You know, oh, sure. Grow, uh, which the, my wife also makes with some nuts and that sort of thing in it. And then um, um, I put uh, like a cup of milk. It just un happens to be raw milk <clears throat> in there. And uh, and then if I'm really feeling uh, maybe a few blueberries and a little bloop of, uh, of maple syrup on it. <clears throat> so it's all good. Maple syrup yeah. from your tree. From yeah, your maple yeah, that's yeah. right. And, you know, and maple syrup and honey are two pure kind of sugar things as well. But... They uh, and they and they really they go into your system. They go right into your intestines. Uh, so they're poof in, right the, too. <laughs> but but they do have something else going for them. They're, they have lots of lots of minerals in them and lots of uh, you know. There's a lot of other nutritional values in them in it. And too uh, much and the other thing is is uh, like with my breakfast there. I'm talking about a teaspoon. Is about all it takes. Just a little sure. Sweetener. Yeah. Just a little very sweetener. very little. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. You don't need that, much. It's that's just, not going to spike. In fact, your blood it's just sugar. a dirty habit. I wouldn't sure. need that maple, <laughs> that maple syrup. Vince, so. there's one thing I wanted to get back to. You mentioned with the, this potato. I think this is another big part of diet. Yeah. You said you put whole butter on there, as opposed to maybe pulling out 
a bucket like this where you open it up and there's that creamy butter and you put it in there that you buy at the store? Well, once again, if I think it, I would encourage people anywhere that are really interested in their health and their diet is to read labels. You know, mm -hmm. what is what is in this thing I'm, I'm uh, about to buy? And uh, you so can't. How would, how would you buy butter at the store? Is there a way to buy it? <laughs> well, I, well, I you know I can just tell you what I buy, which is I buy I always buy organic butter. Okay. And it's it's uh, it's um, uh, slightly salted, unsalted butter. It's just you know, it doesn't. There's not a lot of sodium in it. A little salt makes it taste a lot better. Sure. And uh, and which, by the way, is another whole subject when it comes to heart health and that sort of thing. Is uh, processed foods use a huge amount of sodium. You know, a lot of right. times you think salt, is but there's all these different sodiums that. Uh, that um, are contribute to this really high level of salt in your system, and now you got you know high blood pressure and everything sure. else. And so, regular uh, you can't go wrong with just plain pure organic butter. That's just uh, it's uh, it's uh, a real it's clean. You know, I haven't talked about organic very much, but uh, um, you know, the, the, one of the most important things to buy organic if you're going to buy anything organic is to buy organic milk. Because cows eat huge volumes of feed, and they condense it all down into this milk. And so you're, you are, this milk has in it whatever that farmer was using, sure. whatever he was producing, and, gotcha. and, and there are thousands of different herbicides and pesticides and all kinds of funny things that get used in agriculture these days. And they go. I, in, I don't know. I'm, not, uh, I'm just saying that. Uh, if well, you, I can tell you already, Vince, what we need to do is we need to... I need to take you to the store with me, and you're gonna <laughs> and you're gonna show me what to buy. The, how to shop? Yeah, that's gonna have to be one of our, our, our future our videos. Well, if you if you if you start on the outside, you end up with the beer. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, all right, enjoy. Thank you.